I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles with great millstone, who teach and rule well, and Shalom to the sincere Akiam, to practice truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, in this video, I want to talk about the ICBM missiles, which are the intercontinental ballistic missiles, you know, and uh, to be more specific, you know, the nuclear missiles. You know that are created by the Heavenly Father and for the Heavenly Father so what I mean by that is is that the Heavenly Father is in control of the people upon the earth also those researchers engineers you know that uh, are creating the uh, thermonuclear missiles and eventually the Heavenly Father is going to use you know those weapons that are created you know according you know the scriptures for his purpose man which his purpose is eventually you know to um, initiate the third world war and to bring destruction to America you know and um, uh, certain parts of the Middle East and Europe man you see so <clears throat> I want to start <clears throat> I want to start off in Revelation chapter 9 verse 16 which reads and the number of and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand and I heard the number of them so these horsemen are not referring to actual horsemen but are actually referring to the ICBM missiles and you know if you think about a horse that is running in a desert you know you see a trail behind these horses man so back in the days when the servants the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know saw the visions they tried to describe it according to how they you know um, saw fit according to their knowledge of that time you know but this is referring to 200 million missiles man verse 17 and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jason and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. So they had, um, how you say that, uh, you know, so-called breastplates on, which those actually represent, you know, the metallic part of the missiles, man. You know, basically their body. You know, and the fire and jason and brimstone is referring to what is contained within the missiles. Because that's eventually what is going to bring forth that great destruction, man. You know, the chemicals that combine, you know, with the combustion, you know, ignite, you know, that, uh, that reaction, you know, to create a devastation of destruction. It says, uh, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. And why it mentioned the heads, you know, being like lions is because... A lion, his strength is in his is, is, is in his jaws. So the head of the missiles is where the strength lies of the rockets, you know. And out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone, and that's eventually, you know, the um, uh, the destruction that it causes, man. When, once it hits the uh, once it hits the earth, it says by these three was the third part of man killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt so a lot of people are gonna die you know by way you know of um, of thermonuclear destruction right? You know, the Heavenly Father is going to bring bring a swift destruction, which is going to happen within an hour once the Heavenly Father um, uh, gives that okay sign, you know, all the way from Russia, you know, to America. Because they, 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 they already have that Satan missile, right? Which is able to, you know, travel to America within an hour or something, you know? It says, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Yeah. So, like I mentioned, the power is in their mouth, you know, in the in the top of the rocket, and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents, which that's the trail that, you know, the smoke leaves behind from the um, uh, from the thrusting of the rocket, man. You know? He 
you see? Um, it says, and had hads, and with them they do hurt. Once they hit that, uh, hit that, hit the earth, you know. So let me see. Uh, what else is to it? Because I basically put it in my notes. Yeah, and the third part of man specifically is is referring to um, to Esau, you know. But the Heavenly Father is also going to use it, you know, to um, to put judgment upon the heathens as well, man. Those that are basically in the tra trajectory of that nuclear blast, you know. <laughs> so a lot of Edomites are going to die by way of thermonuclear missiles, man. But like I mentioned, also the heathens. So this is... Um, Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16 Behold I have created the smith to blow the coals and the fire And who is that referring to? The I that it's speaking about is the Heavenly Father The Heavenly Father says That he has created The one that is um, Able to forge weapons And in this case It's referring to a smith to blow the coals and the fire Because that's something that used to happen Back in the days You know That was the way that these weapons was Um was created and that bring it forth an instrument for his work you see for the work of the Heavenly Father and that instrument that is being used you know that is leading up to that to that uh, uh, great finale you know are these ICBM missiles man and I have created the waster to destroy you know and that is like I mentioned the thermal nuclear missiles man you see, but it's the Heavenly Father that created these scientists, the ones that are able to create, you know, and engineer these rockets for destruction. Right? This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. And this is the purpose of the Heavenly Father. And thus said the Lord Jehovah, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, which, you know, modern day Babylon is referring to America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, it rise up against me a destroying wind. And that destroying wind is referring to, you know, the destruction by way of these ICBM missiles. You see? Because once these missiles hit, you know, uh, it, it comes with a couple of things. First, you know, you have the flash, which that will blind the people. You know, then eventually you will have like a, like a wave of energy that's protruding out of that, you know. Which that is that wind. You know, and that is the purpose of the Heavenly Father, man, to destroy America. So, these uh, these missiles that are being created by the scientists, and even though Esau thinks that they can use it for their own purpose, the Heavenly Father has them in the trick bag because what they are creating right now against their own so-called enemies, the Heavenly Father is going to use it against them themselves. See, and even the scripture says that even the weak shall say that they're strong, man. Because even these 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 weaker nations that never really had an army to 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 really you know defend themselves with, you know, in time of a, a, a major major war, for instance, you know, these smaller so-called weaker countries with a smaller army, you know, now they have become like them that do have thermonuclear missiles, man. Because they created them themselves as well. You see? So this is Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 3. And I will smite the bow out of thy hand. And will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. So this is referring to Russia. Once Russia shoots those thermonuclear missiles. Because they have been provoked. You know in a certain way which is biblical. You know because... Scripture says that the least of the flock should draw them out. So the least of the flock is referring to Amalek. They're going to be the ones to eventually initiate the Third World War. And if that Third World War hits, that's also where Russia is going to come into play in a major way. You know, and once they hit that thermonuclear switch to launch these missiles towards the, their designated target, of which America is a major one. Instead of their missiles, you know, going to the designated target, the Heavenly Father is going to take over the missiles, man. 
and it's gonna take control and target them where they need to be targeted you know which for the majority is going to be in in, in Babylon America you know <clears throat> That's where it's going to be the majority, but also these other places in Europe and in the Middle East. You see, because the Heavenly Father also said that, uh, you know, he will basically bring the nations to the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the Valley of the Heavenly Father's Judgment, which there is also going to be a major fight going on, you know, between Yahweh Shai and the rest of these nations, man, that are coming up against Yahweh Shai, you see. This is Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord Jehovah cometh for it is nigh at hand. So what we actually are supposed to do is, is, is bring forth this prophecy man. And basically warn our people for the coming destruction that is to come. You know let those people be afraid. Why? Because the day of the Heavenly Father is not a day of, of happiness and flowers and, and, and sunshine. No, man. It is a day of terrible and great destruction. You see? It says, A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. You see? So, it's not going to be a pleasant day. You know, and that great people and strong is referring to these ICBM missiles that will be shot in great number. And it says there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, because these, thermo these thermonuclear missiles that are created in such a great capacity right now, they are um, they are saved up by the Heavenly Father for the grand finale. You know, and afterwards. There shall be no more war upon the earth when Shahawashai Shai came back, you know, and, and, and became king of kings and lords of lords, man. Then we're going to have everlasting peace upon the earth, you know, and also upon, you know, the planets, you know, and, and in the universe, you know, that uh, will eventually be given to our people. Verse 3, a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. So, this is the effect of these ICBM missiles. Prior to being shot, you know, the, the place is still beautiful, you know, quote-unquote beautiful, of course. Everything is just normal, you know, like we experience life, you know, as it is. But once these missiles have been hit, Afterwards, it's going to be desolate. There's not going to be nothing in there no more. You see? And that is what it's referring to, man. You know, how these ICBM missiles, you know, create uh, a devastating destruction that's going to leave nothing left, man. Verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountain shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. You see, yet again, being being um, being referred to as horsemen and horses. Why? Because of the trail that is going to be behind them. You see. And the flame of fire that devoured the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array, because these missiles going to be shot in a, in in information, man. Just like how you had in um, the movie Three Hundred. You know, when there was, I think it was, they was, was fighting, uh, I don't know whether it's the Battle of Thermopylae, but they was fighting against um, the Persians. And when these Persians shot all those arrows, you know, you saw how these arrows blocked out the sun, but also they were shot in a certain formation. So that they would hit one after another in the same direction. You see? It says, um... Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. Yeah, because once these people see what's going on, they're going to be terribly, they're terribly afraid. They're going to basically shit their pants, man. You know, they, they're going to know and say, like, this is it, man. You know, this is this this is it, you know. I'm going to die. They're going to be going to be effed up in the mind. Uh, verse, uh, verse 7. They shall run like mighty men, 
They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his way, and they shall not break their ranks. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is in control of them. It's not going to happen in a way that, you know, some of them are already going to hit each other in the air. You know, because then they will be breaking ranks. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is in control of them, and He's going to shoot all of them, you know, to where He has His designated targets. Verse 8, Neither shall one trust another, they shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall, they shall climb upon the houses, they shall enter in at the window like a thief. You see, so this is going to happen to the people unexpectedly as well. And that's why they're going to be so sore afraid. They're going to see it all of a sudden and be like, hey, shit. You know, and they ain't going to break ranks. You know, they ain't going to... Uh, 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 um, basically um, uh, designate already you know before they hit the targets man the heavenly father is, is, is about that precise control that's why the scripture also says that nobody can deliver out of the hand of the heavenly father man and that is the thing you know if the heavenly father takes control of these missiles you know that are going to be shot by Russia you know uh, predominantly and then also you know the other nations you know, that they're going to shoot the arrow eventually against America. The Heavenly Father is going to make sure that they're going to hit that target, man. Because America eventually is going to be completely destroyed. Let me go to that as well. This is Revelation. <clears throat> Chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So, America is going to be completely desolate and only desert type creatures shall be able to roam there. That's going to be, you know, the future of America. You know, and also in that uh, one series, I think it was the Umbrella Academy. They showed you when this one kid was time traveling or something and he all of a sudden stepped you know, into the ruins of America. You know, and then they was all trying, you know, to go back in time and prevent it from happening, you know, which could not be done. It could not be done. Why? Because it is the set of destruction that is coming for America. And they put it in the movies already, man. You know, and, and, and the movies and series, and, 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 and that's so beautiful about the Heavenly Father. He's putting it in the minds of these creators to create such movies and, and series. Meanwhile, the people don't believe it, man, until they see it. You know, they think it's all a joke and it's all just comedy and it's all just for entertainment. Meanwhile, the Heavenly Father is very serious about this up-and-coming destruction, man. You know? So that's why the title of this video, you know, is that the ICBM missiles were created by the Lord and for the Lord. You know? Which the Heavenly Father, you know, is a man of war, you know. So with that, I do hope and pray that this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakao Kadash. The honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the sincere Akyam, Spanish truth and sincerity. Shalom.